Hey everyone, welcome to Local Guides Kitchen. My name is Adrian. I'm a level eight local guide based here in the UK in Manchester. Um, and we're here on the third live stream today. The concept of Local Guides Kitchen is really simple. I'm taking the best out of the Local Guides experience on Connect, uh, which is a forum for all local guides all around the world. And I'm bringing it into a cooking show format. So the idea is that all the fun and enjoyment that I've experienced um, within the community um, with all the food lovers out there, and I'm just inviting them here to enjoy learning how to cook, uh, which is a new journey for me, and just talking about local guide stuff. So I hope you enjoy this stream. Uh, a few disclaimers before I go on. A, I am not a Googler. I don't work for them. I am just a local guide just like you, and I'm just something that I'm passionate about and a project that I'm interested to do. And the other thing is that I don't really know how to cook. And if you haven't done it already, do like and subscribe to the channel. And when the video comes out, give it some likes as well. And I forgot to get my lanyard, so I'm just going to nip real quick <laughs> to get it because I want to show you what it is all about. So this week, I am wearing um, the Connect Live shirt from 2018. Um, but this is the lanyard for 2018. And this is the shirt that we got for our Connect Live 2018. So today's attire is for Local Guides Connect Live 2018, and this is the back for it. I have to say that this is kind of like my favorite shirt from all the different years. Uh, I do like the color blue, and it's a darker shade, and I just like the, the symbols and the, the decoration designs on it, so it's pretty cool. Uh, put that aside for now. And I think that's all the housekeeping that I need to do for today, and we are ready to introduce um, the special guest, Luigi from Italy. So I'll just bring the screen up for him. Hello everybody, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, <laughs> very nice. Welcome Luigi, welcome. Thank you very much. It's great to see you again. Yeah, nice to see you again and thank you very much for the invitation. So I will adjust the camera. I have a local guide shirt as well. <laughs> yeah, and you, have, you always have the local guide's pin. I always forget to use that. <laughs> I always forget to use that. It's here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome so much and thank you for joining me on this um, live stream here. Um, so tell us a little bit more about who you are, where you're from um, and bits about the local guides as well. Yeah, sure. So my name is Luigi. Uh, I'm from Italy. Uh, I'm uh, originally from Naples, but I live currently in Tuscany, in Italy. So I think everybody knows where, where uh, it's located. I'm 50 kilometers from uh, Firenze and 20 kilometers from Pisa, so two very known uh, cities, and I live uh, currently in Lucca. Uh, I'm a local guide level 8, uh, so at uh, midway approaching to level 9. So yeah, with, with the less traveling, less visiting, this is becoming a little bit more, uh, let's say, a challenge. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to say uh, difficult. Uh, I'm a connect moderator as well, like you. Uh, and uh, yeah, my passion is about uh, IT traveling, so doesn't look like maybe because I like to uh, talk, take, uh, maybe somebody knows about uh, my selfies or when we meet in person, things like that, but uh, uh, I'm a techie as well, so I like IT, so that's what I do in um, software in life as well, so I'm a software developer, and uh, yeah, today and I like to cook as well, so today we are here with this nice dish. And what is the dish that you've, you've got for us today? Yeah, today we have, uh, I would say in Italian, spaghetti alle vongole. Basically, vongole is uh, clams, uh, it's the, 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 the fish clams, and that's a very typical dish which we have from our tradition in, in the south of Italy. Actually, it, it's very known across the, co the complete country, but it's very uh, famous, very um, yeah, known uh, in south of Naples, uh, especially from the region where I'm coming from, um, yeah, around Naples, because of the traditional uh, fishing history, which, which is in the airport and all around the, uh, the place there. So it's very, very typical. And uh, yeah, I'm coming from this because it's, uh, uh, it's, uh, I, I like it very much. I, I try to do quite often uh, because I do remember also from um, my kidneys because it's one of the dishes where uh, at my home with my parents we were cooking every Sunday and uh, on every Sunday morning I was going with my father uh, to the fishermen to uh, taste the fresh fish and buy those uh, fresh fishes so it's very nice memories as well so we were coming back on Sunday uh, lunch and every Sunday there was this dish at home of course together with something else so it's, it's a very uh, nice memory as well. That's a very um, really nice 
lifestyle in a sense, you know, being able to just go to the, 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 the seaport and then just get fresh seafood and all that stuff. I have to say it was quite a, an experience trying to get my seafood. <laughs> Uh, so yeah. To know more about uh, how, how you took them, uh, where, where you found them, because I was quite uh, curious to see if you could find them when you choose this receipt, because I know that outside Italy might be a little bit difficult because it's not a very typical storeroom. Yeah, that's, uh, that's normal. Let's get going on to do the dish. Um, let's go with the ingredients. So. I'm not sure whether I got all your ingredients laid out properly. So if you just list it out, what I'll do is that I'll just show it to the camera and hopefully I'll, I'll do it right. Uh, so yeah. of course we need the, uh, the clams. That's the main ingredient of the dish because it's- the Yeah, so I have it here. So and, uh, this- And I can see that they are closed as well. So very good. Then we need of course spaghetti. It's pasta. So spaghetti with the clams. Yeah, so I've got it here. And this is, I've got, I'm doing half portion, so I'm not doing a full portion. That's the, that the, the recipe that you wrote for Connect, you mentioned 250 grams, so I'm doing 175 grams in this one. Yes, then we have uh, oil, uh, olive oil, um, better if it's uh, uh, yeah, great, extra virgin, so that's, that's very good. Uh, okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's uh, Filippo Berrio. I, I don't know the name, but yeah, it looks like Italian, so good. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Very good job. What else do we need? Then we need, we need garlic, uh, fresh garlic. Oh, yeah. yeah, do you have it? Great. Very you only need that much. Yeah, you only need that much, not, not the full set. It looks very well prepared, so very uh, well done. And then finally, we need the parsley, fresh right. parsley. Yeah, great, perfect. That's very good. Yeah. yeah, that's all. And I've got some special salt. Of course, yes, yes, that's for the, uh, for the pasta, for the water. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, There's some interesting things that I never knew about when preparing all this stuff. So we can talk about the salt, we can talk about the clams, we can talk about spaghetti, um, because all these things on the surface, I was just like, yeah, I, I know what they are and I put them to my dishes and I've used them before, but you're on a like a different level. <laughs> You've got this like, oh, it's not just spaghetti, it's spaghetti number eight. And I have to like, number eight, what does that refer to? <laughs> uh, so yeah, so talk me through the uh, spaghetti thing because I did not know that spaghettis ha have numbers to them yeah. and the numbers refer to... To the thickness of the spaghetti because we don't, we don't have just basically spaghetti but we do have many types of <laughs> uh, actually they are not the, the thing is that they change also the name so we easily spaghetti are very uh, very well known format of pasta everywhere so everybody knows spaghetti but when you come to italy you will see that we have a different format because we have thicker we have thinner spaghetti uh, then we go to slightly different type of uh, yeah, we can call spaghetti, but that, that, that's not correct, so I apologize if there is any Italian following <laughs> our thing, but just to understand the, the, uh, everybody what's the difference, because we have things like uh, uh, linguine or maybe vermicelli, which is this name of, uh, uh, it's still a kind of spaghetti, but that's, that's giving also the different shape besides the size of the spaghetti, because we have even, uh, we have bought the size, which is that number, but then we have also the shape, because those ones, if, if you ever look, they are round. If you take the vermicelli, they are a little bit uh, um, smaller in roundness. If you pick up the linguine, they are a bit more flat instead of being round. They look like all the same, but it's different, that they are not the same. It's, it's, it's crazy that there's so much in the pasta wall that I'm just not familiar with. Um, I, I know the general ones that you can find in the restaurants. Um, but then once you go again deeper into it, there's just so much to know about it. We actually have a question from um, the live chat. So uh, Jan from Belgium. Hey Jan. Uh, he's asking, what's the range of spaghetti numbers then? Uh, is eight the average number or, or what is it? Oh, that's a very good question. Yeah, huh. that's a, yeah, and I think it's a be between uh, six and 12 probably. Uh, but I'm not sure, really fully sure about that because that's a very good question. Sure, yeah, I think Wait, did you say 6 and 12? Yeah, should be between that side. Also because yeah, you don't have spaghetti number. I, I, I read differently online. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, excuse me, all the Italians out there, um, could you tell us what the numbers are? I, I read that the numbers go from 1 to 10, and 5 is your average. So if you, if you get like a, wait, sorry, if you get spaghetti like this, which is, let me just switch over, yeah. This is just a generic spaghetti, uh, Napolina. It's made in Italy. It doesn't have any numbers to it, but I was trying to figure out from the website what numbers it would be um, because they don't, they don't advertise it here. Um, but what I read online is that if you, you don't see a number, it generally is just a number five, which is the average. Your number eight is actually slightly thicker than... So the ones that I have here is a number five. It's not, it's not the ones that you put in your, um, in your recipe. I couldn't find a number eight. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I don't think people in the UK really care about all this stuff. You, you had to find like someone from Europe to like really look for a proper... Um... Also because when you go down to the range, uh, let's say, uh, I said, uh, I believe it's 6, 12, because when you go down to number like 2, 3, they are not anymore spaghetti, but they are vermicelli, for example. So we don't... Yes. Spaghetti. Yeah, if you go to the supermarket, if you find the number 2 or 3, you will see the name. It's not anymore spaghetti, but it's maybe vermicelli, because they are... They yeah, are exactly, yeah. Food. Exactly, so they, cha they change name because they are smaller, so they go into another format of, of pasta. Well, or, or talk me through the instructions because the one thing that I, I, when I read your recipe, one thing that I was very worried about was the um, timing. Yeah, basically we throw the pasta into the boiling water, so we need to have the boiling water already before putting pasta. That's a very good step because normally, uh, I will note about that when we talk about cooking pasta, I found very often then outside Italy, it's not very well known the combination of water and pasta because often you find that water and pasta all together on the, on the fire, that's correct, completely not the correct way out to cook pasta because you need to put water, water needs to reach boiling and when water alone is boiling, then we can put the pasta inside and then it takes 10 minutes, uh, yeah, normally approx, then depend on the type of pasta. We, do, we took at half uh, approx, half uh, cooking uh, time, because then we throw inside the clams on the, on the other pan, and then they will finish cooking a little bit over there. So if you do 10 minutes in the water, and another 10 minutes on the pan with oil, you are cooking 20 minutes. Yeah, <coughs> it'll be very soggy. I have, a funny feeling, I have a funny feeling that I won't get the timings right. <laughs> so let's, just, let's just get that out of the way. Um, but al dente kind of, what's the direct translation for al dente? Uh, Do you know? I don't know. Yeah, the dente is, uh, is tooth. So I don't know uh, how to translate in English. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Dente is tooth? Yeah, yeah it's tooth. Oh, yeah. I, okay, that's, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, 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 it's like a very quick cook, right? You want it still to be almost like the original? I don't know how to explain it, but I... No, it needs to be uh, still um, not soft. It needs to be still um, strong as pasta. That's a, that's yeah. what, like, it's a way, a way to say because it doesn't mean actually nothing because dente means yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, it's originating from the fact that you are uh, you are eating the pasta. So when when you eat with the, with the, uh, with the teeth, you can actually feel the pasta which you are eating and not it's all soft. Like for example, it could be noodles. But that's, that's typical from the noodles, which, which uh, uh, will be the comparison of spaghetti. But they, they are soft because that's uh, how they are made. Yeah. And when you eat noodles, just to let you understand the feeling, you eat that they are very soft. You don't actually... Mm -mm, the, uh, yeah, Mar Martin, Martin Copenhagen in the live chat says it's, it has a bit of a bite, which is true. It's, it's, it's still, it has a little bit of a crunchy, not crunchiness, but solidness to it. And it's not completely yes. soft. <laughs> So, um, so to prepare this, I put water in here and add some salt. Yes, not yet. Okay, so this, I pre-boil the water so that it will heat up faster. Um, I'm using an induction stove, so um, I don't know how quickly the water will boil, but I think that should be enough. Wait, turn on, turn on the... Uh, oh, you don't put the salt yet. You boil the water. Boil, because yeah, you pre-boil, but it's not, not actually... Oh, okay. So that's very, we don't make this otherwise. <laughs> Stop, Adrian, don't mess it up. Uh, okay, so. Turn on the fire. Yeah, normally we do, but we, we don't, cal the oil is something we don't calculate on the on the amount. You just you just do with the bottle like this and you need to actually fill, let's say, um, three quarter of uh, half, let's say, of the pan. 
Yeah, let, let's do a round, exactly round, round, just do circle and a little bit in the center. More? Yeah, a little bit on the center, exactly so. Perfect, yeah. That's what, uh, yeah, that's what normally we do. It doesn't need to be a lot of oil because we are not doing the deep frying things. So, you know, yeah. just on the... Then you can put the garlic inside and then we... Yeah, and for the viewers out there, you notice this is not the perfect pan. It's got lots of scratch marks in it. Uh, it's not the best nonstick. I'm cooking a lot, so it's a mini... <laughs> I'm cooking the wrong way. That's, that's why there's a lot of scratches in it. Um, so I can just pop the garlic in there. Yeah, you can pop the garlic all, all there. And then we turn on only exactly perfect three pieces. That's, uh, that's a good amount. Some, some interesting things about the garlic, because I asked you this um, in preparation for this cooking show. I thought you were going to slice the garlic or chop it up into smaller bits. Um, but you're saying no, Adrian, don't. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Not for this fish, because there is a difference when we do that. Because actually here, we just take the taste of the garlic, which is of course uh, cooking into the oil, they cook it together with the clams. Then at the point where we drop the pasta inside the clams, we will remove the pieces of garlic. And it's way easier to remove like this, because uh, we, we they, are, they are quite big, so you, you can easily remove. Because actually in this dish, we don't have garlic inside the, the final um, yeah, the final pasta we, which we eat. While normally, if you do some kind of sauce preparation, which could be, let's mention a very typical and uh, another easy uh, dish done with spaghetti, which is spaghetti uh, aglio, olio, peperoncino, which is very famous, and very, uh, very easy. This dish, for example, the pasta is cooking inside the garlic oil and uh, chili pepper. And the, for this one, you need to cut because the, the, the garlic is the, one of the, uh, of the main ingredients of the sauce. So it needs to be part of the sauce and that in that point we really cut fine cuts so it needs to stay there when you cook of course you don't see it anymore because it's part of the uh, of the sauce in this way in this special dish we need to remove so it just needs to give the taste that's why we keep uh, um, the, the complete piece we don't cut so it's easy to remove actually a very good thing which uh, when you cook a bigger size now of course we it's a lower amount of uh, of ingredients but if you cook also something more than the ingredients i've brought because it was a, a, a recipe for four people if you do let's like, say eight people or ten people then of course you might have two kilos of clams or two and a half or things like that it's very difficult to find uh, uh, the garlic inside because then you have all the water which is coming out of the yeah. clams that will make the sauce inside the pan that's why we don't put anything extra because when they open they will release the water they have inside inside the pan and that's the, the, the sauce so it's very difficult to, to see the, the garlic so normally uh, you count them and you remember how many pieces you need to remove so if I put four I know that I need to remove four otherwise I will leave one and if you are eating and you you, be, you pick up a little yeah, big yeah. Like, inside the, the spaghetti because could be that is inside and you don't see it and then you, you just eat and that's not very nice. So the the counting, you know, we need to, we put three, we need to remove three. That that's <laughs> easy. <laughs> the the because I like garlic and because I do more stir fries like the Asian way, I normally just chop my garlic up and just chuck it in there and then just get it nice and brown to get all the flavors out and yeah, and it, it stays in a dish yeah um, so this, so this was a very interesting it's an interesting way of like just putting it in there unchopped uh, just to let the oil and the clams just almost like soak in the garlic yeah. flavor taste and then you take the garlic out before you put in the spaghetti oh, yeah correct yeah. yes that's correct. By the way, if you like uh, the, this recipe, I, I didn't use because I, I don't like, but you can also put some uh, chili pepper inside to make it a little bit spicy. That's that's a very good for this day and it's also used, so it's not something outside. I don't personally use because I don't like, oh, wow, great. <laughs> of course, from, from Asian, I, I'm... Uh, good point. You reminded me about the chili flakes. So uh, I got... Um whole red chilies here so these are dried chilies and i just forgot to kind of prepare this in advance but the amount of, i can see the water is boiling you see the bubbles yeah sorry i'm just distracted by the chilies i'm trying to figure out how much to put in <laughs> i'll put that to the side first 
Now we can put the salt. When it's boiling, we can put the salt because we... And how much salt do I put in? Just... Yeah, it's just... Uh, this is... We don't also... Just pick up with uh, your... Exactly inside... Uh, where is the camera? Inside the app. Oops. Uh, it's a bit... Yeah, yeah. Wait, let me just switch camera. Is that enough? Or more? That's, that's enough for your size of... Uh, uh, yeah, for your size of pasta. <laughs> that's, uh, we do normally like this. Actually... Uh, let's say that yeah we uh, we calculate uh, how to say yeah a little bit of um, yeah taking a little bit of salt with yeah. the with the fingers for every single portion so calculate by hands that when you have inside your hands a, a certain amount for the um, yeah for the size of water you have because it all depends on the water yeah this is basically because when we cook pasta uh, we don't salt directly the pasta, but we salt the water where the pasta is cooking in. So that's where the, the pasta is taking the, uh, yeah, the salty from, from its water. So the water needs to get a good level of, uh, of, yeah, of salt level. So in that way, it's, uh, uh, it's at very good yeah, salty point. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm ready. Yeah, we can go. <laughs> we can turn on the file on the oil because now it's boiling. So we will put the pasta in. Okay. We, we wait for the oil will become warm. So just look with your eyes because I don't see uh, yeah. the here. It just, just needs to be, you can see that when it's becoming warm, you see it's starting, uh, uh, yeah, moving, not, not, not wide because yeah, it's uh, just yeah. exactly. At that point, we throw, uh, yeah, the pasta is 10 minutes. We throw the pasta and the clams. So you can do any order because- Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And while, whilst I wait for all that to get sorted, um... yeah. My parsley is not quite ready because I'm supposed to wash it in advance and I basically strip the, the leaves off the... Yeah, correct. We can do this preparation while the pasta and the clams are cooking because we have 10 minutes. Yeah. Those... Let me just give this a quick rinse. No, no, remove the leaves, all the leaves. So basically you need to throw away the central um, yeah, stick. So you remove all the leaves and then we fine cut with the, the knife all the leaves in very small pieces which we put uh, almost oh, you, you you cut the leaves again after this? Yeah, correctly, yes. Yeah, throw all inside. Exactly, no, no worries. Yeah, just do a round on the pan. No, not really. Oh. Like this and then cover the pan. Now, pasta in? Yeah. So, so throw the pasta. As, yeah, they, they will no worries because uh, just uh, 10 seconds they will become softer and then you can throw the complete spaghetti inside the water. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you see, they will become soft. Uh, this, I don't like I don't like hot stuff, so it's I always get paranoid about. Okay, yeah, just help yourself with the uh, exactly. Okay, that's perfect. Get in there. <laughs> I know the the whole of, the whole of the internet's watching this. You know, like he's struggling to cook spaghetti. <laughs> <I'm> like, yes. <laughs> so yeah, now you pass. Uh, yeah, you remove the leaves, and then after, uh, yeah. Give a, a round every time. Check check the time. By the way, I'm seeing. Uh, oh wait, I'm I I'm not looking at the time. So you need to tell me. <laughs> so you have you have the watch in your corner of the kitchen. You know, on your left hand, there is a, a watch which is. Oh yeah, there is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's get through this parsley. It's taking forever. No, um, we have enough time. Don't, don't be too much, you, you need to cook relaxed, so don't think that you are losing time or you are dashing time or... By the way, give, give an... It's never relaxing, cooking. <laughs> it's never... <laughs> Basically, when they are closed, they are alive and they have water inside. When we cook them, they start, of course, dying because of the, uh, of the worm, uh, of course. And what they do is that they will open, release all the water inside, they are basically dying. So what we see is that an open clams is ready, a closed clams is still not ready, or maybe it might also be possible that a few clams, they will never be open, and then we can remove as well, or we open afterwards in the dish with the, with the knife, but you, you should see the opening status of the clams. That's the... Uh, apologies to all the people watching this who do not want to watch live animals getting cooked, but... Um... <laughs> So we're on two minutes at the moment, possibly three, since we started boiling. So just give a turn to the spaghetti because they might stick if you don't turn them. So depending on the, because basically they are releasing the uh, amido. I don't know the English uh, uh, 
open so they might speak to each other. Yeah, this is, is boiling now, it's, it's starting to open, so I'll tell you what I'll... Okay. That's perfect, no worries. Keep, keep it closed and they will completely open all of them. Basically, the, ta the, ta the timing point which I made in this receipt is that the pasta should be ready at the time where all the clams are open. So, that's so the clams all have to be open? Uh, normally, yes. Because me too. Okay, I'm, I may need to increase the heat on the clams. Because <laughs> the pasta is about a minute or two away and I think the clams just need a little bit more. The, burn, baby, burn. Too much because they might also burn if it's real, because there is still oil. So you know the oil when you put at high temperature, it starts frying and you don't have to make the fried clams. <laughs> but keep it close, no worries. Because it will warm up the eating inside. The pasta, okay. By the way, you, you should check the cooking time of the pasta because what we they mention on the uh, on the cover, it's an approx average timing, of course. So yes. if ten minutes might be twelve, might be eight, because it depends on the water, depends on the fire, depends. On, so yeah, it's an average. So what you do exactly? You check, and then yeah, you try what I normally do, for example, because spaghetti is quite long. Uh, it's, uh, I just yeah, cut a piece with, with my finger. Uh, Wait, I'm, I don't like heat, so <laughs> sorry if I don't... Okay, it's not too hot, sorry. No, but it, you should taste. Because taste it. It's a bit difficult. Is it uh, still lard? No, it's still too hard. Yeah, okay. It's still too hard. From your microphone. <laughs> 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 yeah, <clears throat> it's still too hard. <clears throat> <laughs> then you need to wait. <laughs> Do you need to slice the parsley very finely or just? Yeah, very, very, uh, yeah, very small pieces because we draw inside okay. at the end of the yeah, exactly at the end of the cookie. It's almost, it's almost okay. Okay, yeah, sh should be half because of course it takes a little bit. But check the, if the clams are ready because the clams should. Yeah, they are, they are, they are all open, mostly open. Okay, perfect. So. Uh, yeah, you should throw away the water exactly. Be aware to keep one glass of water. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't throw away the complete water, you need to keep one glass yeah, okay. on the other side. So while, while we're waiting for me to drain this thing, uh, tell us a little bit about your local guide's um, activity online, whether you're doing the maps or on Connect, yeah, stuff like that. What I do most is uh, um, uh, taking pictures and reviewing uh, activities. And since I uh, I like and I I use let's say I used in this period <laughs> to travel a lot because of uh, uh, of my business, I had the opportunity to visit a lot of places, a lot of restaurants, a lot of hotels, and I like to uh, take all the photos and also mainly leave a review for them. So I have many reviews for restaurants, many reviews for hotels, so I can tell my experience because I like to try things, I like to uh, to do that. So I, I really like to take. Uh, upload pictures and doing uh, reviews. Um, that's what the most activity which I do. Uh, answering questions is also something which uh, uh, I really like because since you are popping up, you know you have maps which is uh, uh, giving you notifications that uh, uh, are you there, can you answer a couple? Uh, be aware, it's very good. Uh, you can answer a couple of questions, uh, you know, uh, like uh, uh, things, uh, do they sell this, are they open, or uh, in this period I was uh, was the place crowdy? Can you uh, find this fire type of thing in that activity? So I like to answer all those questions when they, they are popping up. Sometimes I'm also searching directly for the, for for them. So I answer all of them because it's very useful information uh, to give as well. And now, which is of course a little bit less traveling, I miss uh, doing a mainly review because I just have a couple of reviews to uh, end yeah. the show. Looking at your um, Google Maps profile you have about 33 plus thousand points and um, you've done like 4,000, you've uploaded 4,190 photos, you've answered 3,884 questions, uh, you've done 105 fact checks and you've done 250 reviews and also other stuff and it all accumulates and becomes your 33,000 plus points and which makes you a, a level eight local guide. Um, so obviously, you, as you said, you do a lot of photos and you do a lot of answering questions. Um, mm -hmm. Clams ready, yes? Okay, you have to... Yes, I think they are. Yeah, the clams... Uh, you can kind of see that. I'll, uh, I'll push uh, that closer. Great, they are... Wow. By the way, you do I? Yeah? 
Do I put the chilies now or do I wait to when you add the parsley? Oh, you didn't put yet. It, it will, needs to go into the oil before. No, no, I haven't. <laughs> you, can put, you can put that now because it will okay, cook, I'll just... cook a little no rules, but yeah, the correct moment for the chili is when we put uh, garlic and uh, oil uh, initially. So we right, put okay. it in there, so it will stay in the oil and it will give it a spicy, uh, yeah, mood. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> sorry. No, but... it's, it's now going in. Perfect. By the way, uh, is the fire still long because we are still cooking or it's off now? Um, the fire is at four at the moment. I can push it up to six. Okay, no, no, that's perfect. So at this, at this moment that they are all open, what we do is that we throw the pasta inside because okay. uh, before, uh, wait, wait, remove the garlic. Sorry, I'm missing the steps. So I see there is still the garlic inside. Three pieces. Oh yes, the garlic. The garlic is still inside. Sorry, let me just pop it out. Three pieces, so we know, yeah, one. And then when Luigi goes away, I'll secretly put the garlic back in. <laughs> you, you can keep one inside if you like, no worries. No, 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 it's okay. I, I, I want to do it the traditional way. Yeah, all the clams open up, which is really cool. Um, I have to say that this is the first time that I'm actually cooked with clams. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The, if you notice the timing, the pasta is a little bit sticking right now because it means yes. that we lost too much time from when we throw away the water. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, because it's a little bit sticky, but that's not a problem. Now we throw the glass of water again inside. That's the reason of the of that water to make a little okay. bit more. Yeah. How much? Be aware, be aware, it's very warm. Pour how much? Sorry. Yeah, all, all together, all together inside. All, all the water. Yeah, all the water, just pay attention because it's still warm water. All the water, put inside the complete glass. All of it? Yeah, yeah, no worries. Don't be afraid. That's a lot of water, ouch. That's a lot of water. I do have to say that it looks really, really, really nice. Um, Can you? And it's, it's, it smells really good as well. <laughs> um, I actually have a question here from um, Irina. Hi, Irina from London. Um, she says, would Italians eat this dish for breakfast? No, never. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face when he said, no, never. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's, yeah, you never find pasta as, as a breakfast, never. Normally in Italy, the uh, breakfast is sweet, as very well known, because we know that's typical, uh, we, we do have yeah, many places around the world, there is a salty uh, breakfast. Yeah. In Italy, the typical type of breakfast is sweet. Now it's still cooking, uh, don't, don't put too much into the, we need to put the parsley inside, because otherwise we lose the timing of the dish. Okay. Yeah. yeah, all together, it just grew uh, yeah, like this, exactly. And then mix all together. There's, a, there's still a lot of um, sauce in this. Is that correct? That's, that's correct. Like, no worries because it will stay on Okay. The yep. I wasn't sure whether it meant to be drier or not. Um, no, no, this dish doesn't have to be dry. Also because when, yeah, when you put into the dish, that water will stay into, into the pan. That's the water released from, from the clams. Yeah. It could be that we use the too much water from the pasta. Might be because of course we are in three modes. So yeah, the size of... Uh, uh, the pen, the size of the water, it's, it's not very clear from here. So maybe one, one full glass is, is too much for this size. But <laughs> <laughs> Look at the amazing dish. It smells so good, I have to say. Now that everything is mixed, the dish is ready. So you can turn off the... Okay, uh, turn off the heat, turn off the heat, turn off the heat. Dish. So this is the last step. I can see that all the clams are ready. The pasta was ready, so I'm sure it's perfectly cooked. Okay, I'm just going to switch screen to, I think it's this one. Yeah. And I'm going to show the wall your post, first of all. Oh. Uh, I just need to find it. There we are. Um, so this is the post that Luigi made um, for Local Guides Connect. Um, under, you posted it under the food and drinks category. And it looks much nicer than mine, I <laughs> have to say. <laughs> Uh, by the way, yours looks very, very good. We can see in this uh, in this picture, we can see the difference of the clams you have found because they are two different types, if you notice. But what I really like about your Connect post is that you've given a lot of instructions on how to care for the clams, 
So you're buying the clams as fresh and alive as possible from the markets and then you bring it home, you give it a rinse and then you, you put a tea towel around it to keep it moist until you're ready to cook. And then even before you're cooking the process, you're rinsing the water um, and, and trying to get the sand out from the clams. Um, so there's a lot of interesting things there that, that I never even considered. I just thought, clams, into the pot, done. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's uh, very important because the clams, they might have sense inside because they are closed. It's especially the type of clams uh, which you took, they do have more sense than the type I've used. So if you don't do the cleaning process into the water a couple of hours before uh, cooking them, what you will get is that you will have a lot of sense in, into, the, into the dish, which will make the dish horrible because then you feel all the sense from, from the sea. Well, I, I've, got this, I've got this really quick, not quick, but I got this short video to show you the market that I got my um, clams from, so I'll just quickly to show it. Hey everyone, um, so we are here in Manchester city centre and we're just approaching the Arndale shopping mall. So Shop Arndale is the main shopping mall that you get here in Manchester City Centre. And just want to show you the area that it belongs in. Okay, so kind of uh, behind me, that's the Corn Exchange. Um, so it's a very old building and obviously in, in the past it used to do the trading for corn. It's now filled with restaurants and shops in there. And on this side, that's Selfridges, and then Manchester Arndale is just right there. So that's where we're heading to, and we're going to go to the wet market, and I'll show you around in there. So see you soon. So we're here in the inside the Manchester Arndale. Obviously, it's very quiet at the moment. Um, a lot of shops are not operational. Only the food and drinks are open and trading. And also, only takeaways are available. Okay. And we're going to go all the way to the end there, to the Manchester Arndale markets. So here we are at the end of the Manchester Arndale, and we're here at the up markets. So the markets have two sections, one on the right-hand side and also one on the left-hand side. The one on the left-hand side is more related to food, so there's a lot more food stalls in here. And uh, yep, there's a massive queue there. And it actually smells really, really good, so... Um, I'm actually curious to know what it is. Oh, it's a Viet Shack, so it's Vietnamese street food. I really need to give that a try. But here we are, so... You kind of need to go all the way in, and then we'll get to the markets, the fish markets. And this is another popular stall, apparently. It's Pancho's Burritos. But we're here today for the Fresh Fish Daily. So this is where you can get shellfish, dried fish, freshwater fish, and continental fish. And this is where I'm hoping to get my clams. So we'll see what happens. Uh, so I managed to get my clams. Um, the shop attendant did not want to be filmed, so I could not do any video in there. But basically, there are two different shops, one on each end. Um, so you kind of just can go around and compare prices. But I got my clams, find like 500 grams, and hopefully that's enough for this dish that we're making. So right back at you then. Bye. There's not a lot of shops here in the city center that sells fresh seafood. Um, you can get seafood from the supermarkets and everything, but they're all pre-packaged and frozen or whatever it is, or, or not frozen, but they're already pre-packed. Um, this market at Arndale is the closest walkable distance where I can get to and get fresh um, seafood. 
I'm just gonna give it a quick stir to get the, the sauces out onto the pasta. So now I'm gonna finally taste it. And just a, just a reminder to Jan, he was asking like, do you do deliveries to Belgium? I'm like, no, this is, this is all mine. Mmm, smell it. because it's lunchtime here and I'm only watching. It is, it is. Like, I haven't had any breakfast yet. So all I had was coffee and I, I took a few sips and that's it. Um, wait. So I'm going to get a spoon because I can't seem to get the pasta spaghetti into it properly. I'm doing it the... the is this the Italian way? No. Or, no, this doesn't care. No, actually, this is, uh, yeah, it's just to help uh, kids or things like that, but normally we, we just round with, with the fork straight away. Okay, this is gonna fall, this is gonna fall. <laughs> oh my god, now we are eating spaghetti. <laughs> and? It's, um, I probably put too much chilies in it because it's really <laughs> spicy. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> But, but the spaghetti is cooked to the, to my personal taste, to the right level. It's not, it's not too soft and sticky, but it's not like the first time when I bit into it, you could hear the crunch. It's not that. <clears throat> so this is good. Okay. And really good idea actually about cooking it halfway and then finishing it up with the clams because as you said, the, the spaghetti will soak up all the, the clam juice. Yeah, correct. That's a, 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 a thing which is uh, for every type of dish which requires to, to cook in, the, in a pan with the sauce. So remember that the timing to cook spaghetti, it's the complete timing for the complete process and not just water. That's a, a thing which, yeah, a sport which uh, many people might do, that you do the complete timing uh, written on the box into the water and then you do an additional timing with the additional sauce like you have done and then you go above the complete time because uh, even if it's not in the water, it's still cooking the, the, the pasta on the fire. So you, you need to be inside the total time. Otherwise, it's just too, too soft and too... Which, which yeah. For, for and, <coughs> sorry, I got frog caught my throat. A couple of things that, again, was just completely new to me was that you put the salt in the water to flavor the pasta, but you don't put salt into the actual dish. No. Um, and actually, the flavor at the moment is just the right level of saltiness. I don't need to add any more salt to it, so spot on on that. No. Um, the parsley, again, adds a lot of nice richness to it. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I also never thought of was the i just assume that when you do a spaghetti dish like this there'll be i don't know you put butter in there to to rather than olive oil to get that or or you add white wine to it i just assume that all the stuff gets into it yes because we are not saying everything wrong because it depends on the receipt for example the butter uh, we don't put because we use oil Oil and butter are approximately thing. For the white wine is end, uh, or wine in general, we, we do us, we do this for many, many types of dishes. So normally we we uh, smoke with with wine, uh, white for fish or uh, red for really uh, strong meat as well, into the pan, in the, into the cooking process. But for this particular dish, we, we didn't use because the wine, that there are people who are uh, using the white wine as well with clams, but yeah, the wine will cover completely the, uh, the, the flavor of the clams since the clams are cooking very low time. So at the end, it's kind of 10 minutes of cooking, not really far. Then the wine will go over above the, the, uh, the taste and then it will just taste of wine. Not, you won't see the taste of, of, the, of the clams. It's a, it's a fantastic dish. Um, it's easier once you've given me directions like do this do this do this <laughs> when i'm reading it i'm like oh crikey there's a lot to kind of think about and again it's like it's a lot more than what i would normally do for um to make a dish like adding the water from the that you boil with pasta and stuff like that so a lot of great tips in there um, but i really really enjoyed it and i can't wait to dig into it properly um so yeah you guys can all go now see ya bye <laughs> No, but, but again, thank you so much, Luigi, for um, joining me here for the third live stream. Uh, spaghetti alla bongole? Alle bongole. 
Ale Vongole. 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 Vongole is uh, clams in, in Italian. Yeah. Thank you so much for spaghetti and clams. <laughs> uh, again, thank you so much. Uh, we didn't get to chat a lot about local guide stuff. Um, so for all those in the live chat, um, if you're not a local guide and you're wondering what local guides program is all about, it is basically a program run by Google. Um, it's centered over the Google Maps app experience. So if you're rating places, if you're writing reviews, if you're uploading photos, if you're adding businesses to maps, and if you're supporting your local businesses and all that stuff that you do on Google Maps, you are essentially a local guide. And you should just sign up for the program because you, whenever you do any other stuff, you get points. And with the points, you level up and you get perks with it, which again, is, is not a global set of perks. Um, some of the perks are, some of them are not. Uh, it just kind of depends on where you are, but we are not here for the points or the perks and stuff like that. We do it because we enjoy it. Just like we are doing Local Guides Kitchen because it is fun. We get to see our friends. We get to see the people in the live chat and say hi to everybody like Sagir and Jane and Paul and Felician and Irina. And you know, we just have a great time here. It's a great community that you can find on Local Guides Connect as well. Anyway, but if you want to know more about the program, go on to g.co forward slash local guides. And if you want to join the community and be part of this fantastic family that we have here, you can go on to localguidesconnect.com. Uh, again, I'll put all the links into the, I think the, the links are already in the video description of this live stream. And hopefully I'll have uh, be able to pr process this live stream faster, but I'm gonna also try to do the episode two first before I do episode three, just to keep it in the sequence. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, again, thank you so much to everybody in the live chat. Thank you for watching this. I hope you had a great time. I hope you have a great chat online and talking to everybody there as well. Uh, thank you for the questions. Uh, it's been fantastic. Thank you so much, Luigi. Um, I do not know if you honest have any shout out to anybody. You can yeah. now see your moment. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for hosting me and yeah, thank you for the for the time. It was really pleasure. And by the way, you did a very good job, Adrian, because yeah, the receipt I can see uh, the final result is very, very good. So everybody again also from, from my side to to watch this episode, to chat and uh, uh, yeah, say hi to everybody. So thanks again and uh, yeah, see you on Connect. Yeah. Just a shout out to Paul as well. It's um, Australia. It's going to be really late there, so it's sleeping time. See you, Paul, yep. and have a good weekend. Uh, thank you, everybody. Ina, Peter, Jane, Jan, Luciana, Feliciana, uh, Sager, Morton, everybody out there. Thank you for joining into the live stream. I'm so glad and happy to have you here. And don't forget, two more episodes waiting for you next weekend. I'm super excited. For those not in the program, join the Local Guides program. It is so fun. Um, yeah, here we are. <laughs> exactly. So, thank you so much. See you, everybody. Bye. Go local with us. Go local with the painter. Go local with us. Go local with the painter. You're on official cast to all things local guys.